Drawing and Painting 3 class. Um, this is a little quick video to help you guys out um, with accessing the website and to know what is expected of you before spring break happens. So if you go to the class website, classwithlion.com, um, you will see, uh, first I'll show you the homepage. So it'll look like this. You'll go over and click on your class, so Drawing and Painting 3. If you are doing this on a cell phone, um, there might be like up in the corner three little barred lines. Um, and you'll just click on the class that's for you. So let's scroll down to our calendar and you guys can see that um, the next two weeks uh, we are going to spend time working on our Celebrate the West piece. Some of you already started this at the end of term three. If you weren't with us then you didn't get a chance to start it. So um, we have one, two, three, four, five days left on it before spring break and let's get it turned in before spring break so we can enjoy our spring break. Um, so I just tried to keep it simple for you guys. Um, it says term four right up here. Celebrate the West, six days to work on. Start in class the last day of term three. So I already stated that. Um, website link for past winners and competition. This is always good to just look at um, a little bit more about the actual competition. So Western Governors Association runs the competition. Um, everything must be turned in by April 30th, but we will be well ahead of the deadline. Um, there's an entry form that you could download. And that will let you fill in um, information like your name, etc. You guys get the point. Um, and then if you, we scroll to the bottom, oh, it doesn't want to let me scroll on this. I'm sorry. Uh, maybe we have to go out of the filling out option. Okay, there we go. Cool. So it is going to ask for a title of your work eventually and describing it, which is really important. Um, this is a great chance if you have meaning or symbolism behind your work to include that. Um, when we get to the student signature, parent guardian signature, and art teacher signature, um, we can just write in signatures and take a photo of it and upload that photo to that section. If you guys need help with that, let me know and, and we'll work that out. If it's easier for you to print that off and do it, feel free. Um, if you don't have a printer at home, no stress. Um, you can send me the picture of those signatures and I can upload those for you. A um, few more things about this competition. Woo, prize money. So 1,200 is the top place. Um, second place is 750. Third place uh, looks like 500. And then 200 will be awarded to each remaining state finalist. Um, and we will be emailing these entries in. However, <laughs> once you email these ones in, I can't see them. So um, I'll be having you guys send me a copy of the work as well so I can include that in your grade. Um, and again, it's not mandatory that you submit to the competitions. If you just want to turn it in for a grade, that's fine. However, it's a great opportunity to get your artwork out there um, and just to be thinking more like an artist and thinking about how, how you are actively engaging in different things that you can do um, to further your art and be recognized. So here's the winners from last year. Um, I'm sure we could Google past winners and find out more, um, but it looks like they really liked portraiture last year. You can include landscapes. Um, it doesn't always have to be portraiture. It's anything about the West. And it looks like they even have some podcasts um, about different things. So if you're bored and need something to do, um, kind of peruse this a little bit more and check out more about that competition. So really the only thing that's expected of you is to create something about the West. And the West can be past, present, future, um, people, places, animals, anything you want it to be, scenery, um, and just let's get that done by the 26th and 27th before we go off and enjoy our spring break. Um, other than that, that's all I have for now. If you guys have any questions or concerns, um, feel free to email me and I will get back to you as soon as I can. Okay, thanks. Bye.